Good day everyone. If it is your first time on my channel, please watch these videos in order, starting with the first ones, else it may not make sense, but it will also help if you subscribe, like and share them as much as possible. Today we are looking at dinosaurs that might still be alive. The Bible says in Job 40 verse 21, He, it is talking about Behemoth, lieth under the shady trees in the covert of the reed and fens. The old English word fens means swamp. So Behemoth lives in the swamp. The largest swamp in the world is in Central Africa, right on the equator. It is called the Likawala Swamp in the Congo and is 55,000 square miles. To give you an idea about the size of the swamp, these states in red are about the same size as the Likawala Swamp. Here is a rough overlap of the USA and Africa, just to give you a better perspective. It is still 80% unexplored. From 1885 to 1960, the Congo was colonized by Belgium. But in the 1700s before Belgium, some missionaries that went there reported that there are still dinosaurs alive in that region. On 13 February 1910, an article in the New York Herald claimed that the Brontosaurus still roams the Africa wilds. This article appeared in the Saturday Evening Post on 3 January 1948. There could be dinosaurs still alive. A well-known South African big game hunter, Mr. F. Gobbler, returned from a trip to Angola and announced to the Cape Town newspaper, the Cape Argus, that there was an animal of large dimensions, the description of which could only fit a dinosaur dwelling in the Dilolo swamps and known to the natives as Chipikwe. Missionary Chuck Davis said that the Azandi people of the Central African Republic called it Ngururi. In 1980, Roy Mackel and some scientists went into the Congo swamp. They said it is the most miserable swamp in the world. They said that the mosquitoes landed on them at a rate of about a thousand per hour. They had a constant battle with mosquitoes, poisonous insects, poisonous spiders, poisonous snakes. To make matters worse, the pygmies in the area were taught not to trust the white man. They said that the natives kept talking about a couple of animals. One they liked to talk about, they called Mahamba. When they showed the natives a picture of a crocodile, they said, yes, that's it. They asked them how big Mahamba was and the pygmies pasted it off on the sandbar, all of 50 feet or 15.24 meters. Now, whether this is true or not, I don't know, but this is what the natives who live there claim, that there are 15 meter long crocodiles in that swamp. The natives also talked about a creature they called Mokele Mbembe. When Dr. Mackel asked them what this creature looked like, they drew him a picture in the sand resembling an Apatosaurus. They said that it is not very big, about 20 feet from head to tail, and its body is about the size of a hippopotamus. According to them, these animals are nocturnal and live underwater, so they are very rarely seen. They said that if you find the Malombu plant on the banks of the lakes and rivers and where there are no hippos or crocodiles, chances are Mokele Mbembe is present. Apparently, it is so ferocious and territorial that especially where its food source are lush, it will chase away and fight off the hippos and crocs in the area. They even found its footprints, as illustrated here by Dr. Mackle. A missionary that was there said that he had two pygmies in his church who claimed to have killed and eaten Mokele Membe in 1959. 
Many people from all over that region claims that this creature exists and that they have seen it. They give it different names and so on, but they describe the same creature. Mirsalen Agnagna saw one. He's a biologist from the Congo. The Explorer magazine talked about the weird dinosaur-like creatures found in the Congo. Some guys from Los Angeles went there and said they saw Mokele Mbembe. They wanted to take a picture but the cameras malfunctioned due to the high humidity in the area. They said and I quote, the creature was dark brownish in color. The skin appeared slick and smooth with a long neck and small head. Herman saw it, Kia saw it and they saw it on several occasions and they heard it making this tremendous roar, he said. Many other members of the expedition, and this includes government officials from the Republic of Congo, saw it and heard it. Here is an article in a newspaper that talks about some folks getting ready to go to the Congo to look for the half god, half beast. This is in 1999. There has been around 30 expeditions into the swamp looking for the creature. All of them coming back saying that the natives knew about it and talked about it as if it is normal. The natives claim that this creature lives in caves along the banks of the rivers and they come out at night and usually stay underwater. So very difficult to get to see one. Roy, Mc Roy Mackle wrote a book called A Living Dinosaur, a very interesting read. He believed in evolution. He wrote that there might still be a dinosaur alive today. But then he said, it is amazing that it survived for over 70 million years. <laughs> is it not tragic that even with all the evidence stacked against such a dumb theory, there are still people who choose to believe in it? Mr. William J. Gibbons went to the Congo four times. He and Dr. Hovind wrote a book together on cryptozoology called Claws, Jaws and Dinosaurs. Mr. Gibbons went back to Cameroon and said this, According to our guide, Pierre Sima, we were the first white men to actually penetrate the forest and swamps bordering the, Bom the Bomba River. Our informants, almost all of them Barka pygmies, with the exception of one elderly Muslim Cameroonian, are perfectly familiar with all the known and unknown animals of the forest and swamps. While they do not regard the Lekele Mbembe as being an unusual animal, they do fear the creature because of its ferocity in attacking hippos, elephants and even crocodiles. The animal appears to be completely intolerant of any other large creature that shares the river and controls large stretches of the river, particularly those areas where its food supply is present. Missionary Cal Bombay and his wife, now in Ontario, Canada, said they watched a creature like this for 15 minutes in Kenya. He said the, pl the plates on its back were bigger than the one in this picture. There have been at least five reported sightings of such a Stegosaurus-like type creature that I know of in the last hundred years. Well, this is all we have time for today. We will continue on this subject next time. Thanks for watching and please subscribe, like and share this video as much as possible to help me grow my channel. Please, please, please don't forget to leave a donation on Patreon. Instructions on how to do so will follow. God bless. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy our videos, please leave a like and subscribe. Don't forget to click the bell icon to be notified of our next video. You can help us create better videos by leaving a donation on Patreon. The link is in the description. Thank you. We hope to see you next time.